For my project, I did life history of a Hawaiian island. And I decided to use uh, cloth material as my media, and it's kind of got a spongy inside, like a pillow or a stuffed animal. And the target audience would be for elementary school kids, and I plan to um, give this project to my niece's teacher at Kaneohe'el. So basically, um, I made each of the stages of the uh, of a Hawaiian island, and I provide a little bit of background for the teacher, and also if the students want to, or if the teacher wants the students to do some research on it themselves, they can do that, um, or they can just go according to um, the little bit of information that I provide. So the Hawaiian archipelago stretches from 15, over 1,500 miles from Kiri Atoll in the northwest to Loihi Seamount. Um, in the south, a little past the Big Island, and it's considered the longest chain of volcanoes on Earth. There are over 129 different volcanoes that were generated by a stationary hotspot under the Pacific Plate. The Pacific Plate moves approximately 9 centimeters per year in the northwest direction as lava erupts to form each new island. As magma comes out of the hot spot, it creates an undersea volcano called the seamount. And this is my seamount. They're all labeled, so Loihi Seamount. This is the first stage of a Hawaiian island, and it's sometimes called the pre shield stage. This stage can last about 250,000 years to 300,000 years, and <clears throat> the one that was discovered um, off of the Big Island was discovered in 1952. It's about 35 kilometers south. So if you were to look, um, well this would be a good example for it. the seamount being about, if this was the water line, it's under the water still, and this is uh, the land, the water, and then um, it being a undersea volcano. Hmm. Magma continues to build up the seamount from the seafloor until it reaches the surface and an island is born. The island is now in the shield building stage, which is the most productive stage and accounts for approximately 80 to 95% of the volcano's volume. Kilauea and Mauna Loa are both in the shield building stage, and this stage can last 200,000 to 400,000 years. And right here we have our shield building stage. Um, this thing spins so you can see the water line, um, a lot of it's underwater still, and then two volcanoes here that would be representing the shield building stage. After the shield building stage is post shield stage, and eruptions are a lot less frequent during this time. The, the Pacific plate moves further away from the hot spot. This stage can last for 100,000 years to a million years and Mauna Kea and Hualalai are currently in this stage. Throughout the time that the volcano is above the level of the sea, um, the erosional, erosional stage can happen. And that's when wind, rain, rivers, gravity, all contribute to the movement of sediment from higher ground down to lower ground and also into the ocean. There are sometimes massive landslides that can take away up to half of the volcano. And this has happened on Oahu where a massive collapse occurred on the windward side of the Ko'olau volcano. There's actually evidence of 17 huge landslides in the main Hawaiian Islands and up to 70 large landslides throughout the entire Hawaiian Island chain. At the same time that erosion is flattening the island, the islands are also sinking into the sea, and the Big Island is estimated to be sinking about 2.6 millimeters each year. So let's say a lot of this island slumped off, um, and then erosion happens. Uh, so what happens is it becomes a smaller island, and this is what the next stage will be. So the erosional stage. Of course, that's Oahu.
Some islands, but not all islands, will enter a rejuvenation stage, a half million years up to five million years after it has moved off the hotspot. During this stage, eruptions occur long after the main shield building stage has ended. Ni'ihau, Kauai, East Molokai, West Maui, and East Oahu have all had rejuvenation vol volcanism. Diamond Head, Punch Bowl, and Hanama Bay are examples of rejuvenation that happened about 1.3 million, million years after the shield building stage ended. And these are my little rejuvenation stages. So that's Punch Bowl. And this one is Diamond Head. So that's my representation of rejuvenation. Also, while the island is above uh, the level of the sea, uh, fringing reefs develop, and these develop close to the shoreline and encircle the island. So in this model for Oahu, this area close to the shoreline is the fringing reef. So the corals are able to grow very close to shore as the island is slowly sinking. Eventually what happens is a, is a lagoon will form between the reef and the sinking island, creating a barrier reef. So the next stage would be So this barrier reef now has a lagoon between the island and the reef, and the reef gets wider, and it creates a barrier around the island. Basically, the sea level, uh, the corals can keep up with the sea level, and the island starts to sink down. So um, it continues to do this, and <clears throat> also erosion takes away a lot of the land, so that's why this island got smaller, and then the coral reefs are growing up. And then lastly, the corals continue to grow and surround the island, and eventually the island completely erodes and sinks down into the middle. And we have the atoll. So this is a coral atoll now. The corals have grown up and there's a central lagoon and then sometimes there's some low-lying islands around. Um, two is not, it's just a random, I just put out two. Um, it could have more than two, it could have less. And then, um, so there's the main Hawaiian island underneath it. And if you were to drill into the atoll, you could find the remnants of the high island under the coral ring. The oldest atoll on the Hawaiian island chain is Curie Atoll, and that's 29.8 million years old. As the atoll and the island um, on the Pacific plate continues to move further, further north, it enters into a condition that the corals can't grow anymore and can't keep up at the sea level. The water is too cold for the corals to survive. At this point, the atoll drowns and becomes a gyo, and that's the final stage of a Hawaiian island.